another feature that some of you uh, might have missed but it's there it's how to set up a wireless um, internet connection your home wire your home wireless internet connection without uh, you having to buy um, Airport Express or Airport Extreme or Time Capsule or um, D-Link wireless router or you know all those or router or router whatever you, you can call it with the Mac with any Mac iMac Mac Book, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, Mac Mini, Mac Pro. Uh, you can actually uh, make any of those as a to act as a wireless access point or as a wireless router or whatever or router. Whatever. Well, this is how you do it. I'm just gonna show you guys. You go up to system. You can see system preferences. And then you go to sharing, and then there's a couple of other things here. And then you choose internet access. You choose that. Now, I can click on that it to tell me to start. But then, before that, you just click on it, and then on the side here, you have uh, Airport Express. You take it. And uh, you can read it anyway, but you just tick Airport Express. Then you have options. If you want, you can s you can set options. But when you go to options, what it does is it shows you uh, you can have network name like I named it that, and you can actually change put a password. You know, like the way you put a by a web is like um, when you set if you know how anything about wireless internet access is like. You know, it sends out signals, wireless signals. So, if you have, uh, if somebody catches it, um, it it can be as in like you need a password to access it. So you can also set, you can leave it like that, not set any password. As in like anybody can, anybody around the range, if it catches your signal, it can actually get on it and use it, use the internet, your internet. So it's more like um, when you get free Wi-Fi or something. Like that. So, but uh, what I've realized about this feature is that it doesn't work with uh, if you gonna use this to access using PC uh, computers. Oh, e I found that it's when you put a password here, running either running XP or Vista, because I've tried on both of them, it doesn't. Uh, seem to pick it picks it up, but then doesn't seem to uh, act, uh, to connect to it. I don't know why. It's just a, it's when he has when he has a password, it doesn't seem to connect to it. Or when he doesn't have the password, it it connects to it. So I'll just leave it on now because I really don't care. It's like you know, it's on every time. You can you have a you know you can put it on for a while and leave it and take it off. So it doesn't really matter if somebody uses it or not. I mean, I'm living in an apartment. And uh, uh, it's maybe my next door neighbor might pick it up. I mean, who cares? I mean, so what? I can leave it on. I can have it on for a whole day, but the next time I'll have it off. You know, depends on how to me. So it doesn't really matter. But you can set your password. But if you set your password, you will only able to use uh, Mac computers. You're only able to access Mac or uh, your iPod or iPhone. Your, I don't know. But I don't know about any other devices but then try it out yeah so it's up to you if you want to put it on put a password on but let's just leave it on so I do then you tick there uh, there's something that comes up you want to turn uh, start it the way it came on it's a bit fast but it can take a little like five seconds or so so then that's it that's all you have to do. Now it's 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 sending out wireless signals now. Now uh, I have with me here a G iBook G4. There's some story behind this. All I can say is that um, it's not mine. It's um, a flatmate, like 
I live in this apartment. I live with people, so uh, it's it's owned by her. And uh, this is one of the reasons. This was this thing that actually made me change, switch from Windows to Mac. This is one of the reasons why. But anyway, nothing is connected to it. It's as you can see, nothing is connected. It's all empty. So again, all I have is. You see the back here of my iMac. I've got Ethernet cable connected. So the iMac is the one that's connected to the. I have a modem there. Ethernet cable connected. Yep. Yeah. I've set it up. So here we go. Um, we're gonna go to the top there. That sign. You get turn on. Wi-Fi is turned on. And since I've, I was, I've been using, so as my there's my computer, there's my computer uh, thing. It's already on there. It's already been ticked because uh, I've used this before to on internet on this computer before, so it kind of recognizes it. So we open Safari. Um, there is the internet. Yep, pretty much it. It's working. Uh, let's go to this one here. It's an eye touch. I'll do a review on it. Don't worry. Um, I've had it for about almost two months now. Uh, go here. Uh, it's already picked it up. Um, so, but then if it didn't pick it up, you just have to go to there. And then you turn it on. It's be off all the time, but you turn it on. Then it's gonna look. It finds you know all this type. As you can see, these ones here, they're the ones that have password. So you need a password to enter. But since mine, I didn't put any password, so it's um, it's 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 em it's empty like that. So as you can see, let's go to uh, let's go to news. yeah pretty much it so I can be in any room around the, the house move around it's quite it's strong because I, I can even be outside like waiting because I'm living on the 14th floor I can be like waiting for the lift it's actually I think 15 meters away or something and it still picks it up so and yeah it that's how I I, I can be at the balcony if you can see well the balcony is over there I can be doing my surfing, checking my mails on, on this little eye touch. Uh, let me just turn off, turn it off. Uh, yeah. So the same thing here, I can move around. So that's how we kind of share internet here in this apartment. Yeah. So that's how it is. So that was it. If you didn't know, now you know you don't need a wireless router or whatever. So uh, they say it can be done on a on a Windows. The same thing can be done on a Windows. But when I try to do it on a Windows, it's funny. When I try to make the window an access uh, point, internet access point, uh, somehow it just didn't work. It, on Windows, it's called ICS, I think, Internet Connection Sharing, something. Like that. You, I try to use it, just didn't work. Just didn't work nothing it's got and I went on, on Vista it tells me for you to use ICS you need to have a router you need to have a wireless router which is so you need to have Airport Express or whatever for you to use it so you can just use it so I don't know if anybody knows how to do it um, with Windows yeah you can tell you can show it to me you post a response but that's how and again this was worth every penny, every money. Buy a Mac. This will work on my I have my iMac works on it. I use this this um I can use this as a wireless router. I can just connect my Ethernet cable here and blah. There you have it. So anything can work, so yeah guys.
that was it. Sam. 